If you identify as white presenting or white passing, you're white. Let's break this down. What did we say? <clears throat> Let me clear my throat so you hear me clearly. If you identify as white passing or white presenting, you're white. We did not say if you are. We said if you identify. Since this post, it became very obvious that there are two distinct differences in how our communities interpret white passing. And I want to discuss my native interpretation. Let's do a thought experiment. Imagine we are in the 1800s and right across the valley is the U.S. Cavalry. Before they attack, they give you, an individual you, the option to join their society. They promise you're going to survive, your kids will survive, your grandchildren will survive, only if you drop everything in all of our ways and leave it behind you. But here's the catch. They will only accept people who look like them. Now, let's bring it back to today. After you're done recording your TikTok, do you have the privilege to take off your makeup, your earrings, your land back shirt, your ribbon skirt, step away from your star quilt blanket and walk into a world where people will receive you as a white individual? That is white privilege. And that is privilege that I do not have. Now, if you think I would push you and tell you to go to the Calvary, you're wrong. You're my brother, you're my sister, my relation. All I wanted to point out is that some of us don't have that privilege. Along with that privilege came a visceral entitlement to center yourselves in brown and black spaces. And you acted like the same people who got mad at me for calling them colonizers. I'm not saying you're not indigenous. I'm saying you have a power and privilege in these spaces and you're not entitled to our lived experiences.